So this the slide I was talking about. How do you make this happen? How do you uh, make a search driven site? Or the other component I I explained that search uh, search has built an architecture. Uh, search has uh, the architect search architecture gives you um, uh, the, the the plumbing parts. But how do you add those parts? How do we as for end users? How do you handle that? And how do you make the make uh, search driven sites? So, so um, the slide you see in front of you, uh, I mentioned four, six important components. Uh, query rules, uh, I've already explained, I tried to explain. Uh, content uh, by search by parts. Uh, it's, it, this, this, everybody knows this word or this uh, uh, component, content by search by parts. Um, this, this kind of this web path is again you can say think about it's a, it's 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 a uh, it's extend what content query web part used to do. Content query web part was not search based, but this is search based. All you're doing is using the display templates, query builder. You're writing uh, and telling your web path or configuring the web path to get the content from anywhere using search. When I say anywhere, uh, I meant if you go back to the slide, it could be any external content here, and it could be any SharePoint content. It could be cross-site collection, same site, cross SharePoint farm as well. Um, query Builder, uh, I'll show you in my next demo that what, what I mean by Query Builder. Query Builder is again, you can think of uh, if, if you have uh, you used to do write SQL statements, um, but again, uh, there's a built-in or browser-based tool within SharePoint that allows you to write uh, search queries to get content. Uh, I mean, it's 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 has not been well documented. Uh, I think Microsoft is trying to write documents about this, but it's still, uh, you can do a, a lot of things uh, using Query Builder. Uh, when I say a lot of things, that means you can uh, think of why we have we are having this topic. So these are the core elements. Six elements are very core elements to achieve uh, or to build a search driven site. Um, query rules I've spoken to. You. Content catalog is again a new concept. Um, uh, you can think of content catalog as like this, but. Uh, so there are two ways to use uh, uh, reuse content. Either you publish at the source, and the same content should be surfaced at the destination. Um, so I'll sh I have a slide next slide. I'll show you what I mean by this. So for example, uh, cross-site publishing you see here. Uh, so Kyoto events, uh, for example, events. Uh, so events are typical events like uh, something is happening in Kyoto, fill in office uh, could be. A a discussion about SharePoint uh, could be a discussion about um, ski competition, world ski competition. Um, so catalog is again kind of a repository. It could be a list, it could be a library. Um, you can define as a catalog. Uh, if you if you understand the dictionary meaning of catalog, this is what it is. So you created something and you want to share across. Uh, different share with different sites. So in this example, if you see uh, the slide, uh, I have created events. Uh, I want to publish uh, those events to the the publishing sites as well sites and the the publishing site uh, in India. How this is done? Again, uh, it's search driven and term store. Uh, term store one again is uh, is managed navigation or managed uh, metadata. I'll come to that management topic as well, but it's, I'm not going to talk more uh, 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 a lot about managed navigation because again, as I said, uh, managed navigation or uh, managed metadata uh, or taxonomy, whatever you want to call it, uh, requires us to have a completely uh, separate uh, webinar. So combination of, if I move back, combination of all, all six elements helps you achieve a search driven site. Um, 
manage the navigation again, uh, as I said. Uh, uh, there, there are a lot of uh, new concepts around managed navigation that you, so there used to be, uh, earlier we used to have uh, structured navigation where uh, everything has to be, if you have to have global navigation or current navigation, uh, the menu items has to have either a page or a site. You have, you have to have paid a site for, uh, to do things. Um, example could be, um, so let's say you have your, uh, on your top menu. Let, let me share my screen again. So, for example, you have uh, my, work, uh, my work, uh global navigation item. Uh, now, you have Childs of my work, uh, or in technical terms, you can say second level menu items here. Uh, when I click something here, I always go to a site or a page. But what if I say that everything under my work should, could be a single page? And when I click something here, I get, uh, although it will be a single page, uh, which is uh, tagged for multiple items, but uh, it gets content, gets refreshed when you click uh, different menu items. For example, although what I'm showing you is, is not exactly uh, 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 SharePoint based, but just to explain the concept that for all these menu items, uh, I do not have to uh, create a separate page. I can have a single page, which is Tom Stevens, or you must have what called friendly URLs, or you call it FURL, false. Uh, so the combination of search, managed navigation, or taxonomy, uh, Help us, helps us create a very flexible, very dynamic site. Uh, when I say flexible, uh, it means uh, if, if you don't have to go and make sure that you have to build a custom navigation, uh, everything is driven by, or you, you don't have to create a custom, uh, what we call it, navigation provider uh, to, to quickly change what we want. So everything is uh, terms driven, or as it uh, says, managed navigation, uh, when I say manage navigation, you create, uh, you can create term search in a term store uh, and have them uh, uh, available for navigation. Um, I think I'm just reaching to the last slide. Um, I'm, and you must have heard this word called cross-site publishing and I, I'll explain why. Uh, we need cross-site publishing and how can we uh, have uh, or can achieve this. Uh, I have a demo, uh, a very simple demo, uh, where I want to show you uh, again using CBS web path, uh, how can we uh, share content. So in my scenario, uh, again as I said, the scenario is that T2 has multiple locations. Uh, so the has a global location where content is published uh, authored here and the authored content should be shown uh, uh, on the Finland's publishing site or when I say publishing when I say the Finland and Finland sites and the and Finland uh, India site. Um, I have recorded this uh, uh, demo uh, just to save time as I said it earlier so uh, if you have any questions i can i can answer it uh, maybe after the demo when we have uh, our QA session um so here is the theater global site where uh the scenario i've taken is events uh, so I'll be somebody at the global theater global side will be creating uh, events. Um, when I say somebody from global, mostly content editors, they will be creating events. So I'll start the demo here. Uh, all you see is is out of the box. Everything is out of the box. 
I'm just trying to create an article page, which actually I'm trying to say that's an event. adding some content. Uh, you see SharePoint Compass has, has shown up here on, on the left-hand side, global. Uh, but uh, I moved to Theater Finland. It was not there. When I refresh it, Theater Finland, uh, it shows up there. Uh, um, as I said, it was recorded, so you, you could see that it, it came up very quickly. Uh, but it, it's not the case. You always have to remember uh, so every 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 uh, function could could have some limitations as well. In this case, we call it uh, index latency. So when I added the content to the event, content gets added to the pages library. It needs to be crawled by search. Uh, so so incremental call is set for five minutes. We'll have to wait for five minutes to content uh, for content to show up uh, on your publishing sites. So you saw it quickly, but it was just the, the recorded version, and that's why it came up uh, instantly. I just wanted to show you uh, about content by search by part. So I have added this web app, which is for content by search web app. So this is I was talking about query builder. This is a, this is how you write a query. Uh, if you understand this, I mean, if you can understand this, uh, see here, this path, path is actually a property. Uh, what you're saying is that uh, I want to get content from this path, and space is always treated as and. It's not a piping function, but it's and. And content type should be this. I can have many things uh, defined here. When I said it, I could have uh, uh, something called more query uh, query variables, where I can say that uh, I want content from this side, but not from this side. So for that, uh, there are certain out of the box query variables that can be used here. These are we, we are placeholders. So um, let's move on and see. There are some other things I would like you to see. Uh, so these are the properties. Mm, uh, as I said, uh, these are managed properties. Um, and I'm not sure if you all know, but uh, I'll explain what managed properties are. So typically, the way you can relate managed properties is basically you have your list, lists, pages. Each list and page has some some certain columns. Uh, when search crawls it, search creates so, so it's called crawl properties. Uh, those, those crawl properties are mapped to manage properties. Uh, that's where search get indexed. Uh, search index is, 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 is it has managed properties. And what you are saying is you're asking, uh, for example, in this case, uh, 
get me uh, content types which has this ID. Uh, so in my demo, uh, I have said the content type. Uh, I, I'm, I'm saying that I need uh, to show article content types. Let's move on. As I said, there are lots of managed properties that can be used here. This is again source. Uh, refiners are again a new concept and this is something called ranking model. Um, so you saw this example I shown you about Theato that our last 30, uh, seven, seven days news or events or last 30 days. So you can use ranking model, combination of ranking model uh, uh, and that's again a built-in. These are not managed properties. They are, they are different kind of properties uh, that you can use to have sorting based on, as I said, uh, show me events in last 30 days or last 7 days. Yeah, here is a popular ranking model and recommended ranking model you see. Uh, this one is recommended.